Hi everybody, this is Pam with Jesus Junk Journals and we're still working on Abundance Journal. And I was looking at my signatures and I noticed something. I have already put so much stuff in these that if I, unless I want a gator mouth, I don't particularly. Then these are, the the thickness of the signatures is more than the, the thickness of the these cords. So there's a couple of things you could do. And one is you could get a thicker cord and um, redo these, put a thicker cord to take up more room on the spine. And the other thing you could do, which is what I'm going to do, is put more signatures in with less paper in them. So I'm going to actually add one, two, three, four signatures, and then I'm only going to put a couple of pages on each in each one. So they'll be thinner than the cord. So I hope you understand what I'm saying. It's gonna it's gonna fill the gaps in here and not expand this part out any or not very much. And so it'll give me, a, it'll it'll look cool because it'll be that many more signatures and it'll help to even this out. So that's my workaround. That's, that's how I'm gonna go about fixing them. So that means I need four more pieces of fabric, which is a great problem to have. And I'll just uh, add in, and plus it, it solves the problem of not having that many journal pages in there because I have a lot of pretty pages and not a lot of journal space. So I'm gonna get, my clipboard of fabric back out and see if see if there's some that I haven't used yet and I actually didn't use I didn't use this one with the stamps on it so there's one and I didn't use the one with the yeah that's wide enough I didn't use that one so I could use that one I could use this one but I'm kind of looking for color that some different color that would make it stand out because these are kind of similar kind of beigey browny colors so I wonder if I have something else. I think I used, no, I guess that's a different one. He has a couple of them here that are kind of similar. So I could use some of that. So there's there's a couple, there's three right there. So I'm gonna go now over to my larger <laughs> bunch of fabric and uh, see if I have any more, I guess, deeper colors or brighter colors that might stand out more. So I'm gonna go over there and look and then I'll be back. Okay, so I grabbed a handful of ones from over there. Let's see, let me get this clipboard out of the way. So I want, I want ones that would stand out from the ones I've already got. So I think that would work. I mean, that would work, but it's a little bright and that would work. It's That pink doesn't really go with anything. This looks more like what the journal looks like. This is pretty similar to the one I've already got. Two, this is pretty, but uh, there's not really much in the journal that, that's that color, so I kind of don't want to use that. Uh, same with that, really. This would be a little bit different. So one, two, three, four. Okay, all right, well, there's four. So let me cut my four pieces of cord. You know, when you shoot a video, you really, <laughs> things become like when things don't go well or some things just seem like they take a lot longer than you want them to, it's magnified when you're shooting a video. <laughs> so it's kind of funny, really. Like when your tape wraps around itself and sticks to your hand and won't come loose, things like that. These are some scraps my sister sent me. My sister sent me a whole bunch of stuff. That's why I keep talking about her, because she gave me a bunch of stuff. Let's see. All right, let me wrap this around. That's what I did last time. So something like, something like that. Looks a little too wide, actually. Okay, well, this needed to be actually torn if I can get it to tear with a near little narrow piece off of it to give me a nicer frayed edge. We'll see. 
Okay, okay, that looks better. All right, there's one. Oh, that wasn't what I was gonna use. This one's gonna be, this one is more of a canvasy fabric, so it is going to probably ravel a lot more. Ooh, it's got some nice frayed edges though. I wonder if, I guess this will tear. Well, yeah, it looks like she tore it. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Oh, well, that's a little bit wider than I wanted, but I guess that's okay. Okay, so there's two. All right, so one, two, three. Okay, so this is real similar to this other one, and it's got I've got a lot of yellow, so I kind of want the blue, I think. Or do I want the orange? Maybe I want the orange, okay. Or do I want, I think I wanna do it off of this edge, that would make more sense, so I don't waste any, or not very much. I don't know why, do you, I don't know if you guys feel so, like it's so precious, this Tim Holtz fabric. You just feel like you can't use it, but you can always buy more. I have to tell myself, you can always go ahead and buy some more. <sighs> okay. This is cut weird, so I'm gonna tear, tear it. All right, so there are my five pieces of fabric. I'm gonna go over to the sewing machine and sew those up and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've got my four. I actually had an extra <laughs> piece of fabric that I tore. So I only needed four. These are the four I ended up with. So now I'm gonna take some, uh, kind of a high grade copier paper and Actually, what I think I'll do, I'll cut them all down because they're all going to need to be cut down. And then I'm going to, should I do that first? I think what I'm going to do is take my stencils and just very lightly ink some patterns into them just so they're not stark white. Now these are gonna be, these are going to be in, uh, journaling pages. So I don't want the patterns to overpower. I want it to still be able to be something you could write on. I don't want the pattern to overpower the writing area. So I'm gonna look for some really muted ink. And I think one of them is this old paper. So I'm gonna take, and I'm just gonna hit it here and there. Let's see if that even shows. Huh, nope. Oops. Okay. So it did show pretty strongly there, but that'll be all right. I haven't used this for a while. I kind of think it might need 
to have the refresh spray put on it. So I've got this Distress Refresher. I'm going to spray that on it. See if that helps it. So it's very subtle. Well, <laughs> every time I say that, then I hit it really hard. Sorry. But. Okay, so that is one. I think I'll go ahead and do another one with this stencil. It looks pretty good. Just enough to break it up with just a little bit. Yeah, got a little heavy there. So I think I'll try a different color if I've got one. That was a really good one. I like that a lot. You know, when I got that old paper, I was like, mm, I don't know what I'm going to use that for. Hmm. Well, they knew what they were doing when they made it. Looks like tumbled glass is pretty subtle. Um, I mean, I guess I could do a, she a sheet in that. I don't have a lot of blue. That's why I'm kind of hesitating, but... I might as well give it a shot. That's really pretty. I hope you guys, ah, I hope you guys can see it. It's pretty subtle. But I think that would make a nice journaling page. Okay, right, I'm going to stop with that stencil, see what else I can do. I've got a one that's just kind of a texture. Okay, that looks pretty good. Oh, and I also pulled out a couple of sheets of graph paper to use as needed. Okay, subtle in the maybe in the yellow and the oranges because I that is more okay. So the of course, the tattered rose is pretty subtle. I'll try that. Try this mermaid looking pattern. <laughs> I actually got, wow, that is so subtle you can't even see it. I actually have a bottle of the refreshing ink for this because it never has been very strong. And I thought it was dried out, so I've, I may need to just refill it. <laughs> so, I don't know if you guys have 
done that before. Here's Tattered Rose. But instead of buying a whole new pad, when you run out of ink, it's a lot, uh, I would say, more economical. Economical? <laughs> to get these refill bottles with this, the little droppers. And you just uh, put it on the pad and recharge it. Because there's a lot of ink in this bottle, it'll last for a long time. And when you buy those pads, you never know how long they've been sitting on the shelf and so on and so forth. So now what I don't know is how strong is that gonna be? Not too bad. I think I'm gonna keep the tattered rose and maybe just switch out patterns to one of my favorites. <laughs> I use this one a lot. Just always seems to look good. Wow. Didn't even even with the ink being recharged, it's just <laughs> not showing much. there. And I think I'll do one more just to make sure I have plenty because I can always use these later. I've got my cords and my papers. I've used the vintage photo inks on the edges of them. And I'm gonna start gluing these on. I need to bind these. There's only a couple of sheets of paper in each one, but I'm gonna go ahead and bind them anyway, just so there isn't any chance for them to come apart. So, um, I actually did one and did not bind it. And then I remembered that I had to, I, I should bind these. So it didn't look like the page would come out. All right, so I'm gonna let it I'm gonna let it go. But the rest of these I think I'll go ahead and do do the binding, which is gonna be super easy because this paper is just so thin. I don't even really need to poke holes with an awl. I'm just gonna stitch it straight, straight on with the needle. Okay, so there's that. A couple of pieces of graph paper. Mm, and I want to start from the back because I'm going to cut those cords so they don't show. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull that through. And I, like I said, this might be overkill. I wanna make sure I don't buckle the paper, but I wanna get it tight when I tie my knot here. But that will make sure and hold this paper together at least. I think I need to throw those scissors away. <laughs> That's the beauty of dollar scissors. You can just throw them away and get another pair when you need to. Okay. So I got those, got those stitched up. 
And now I'm going to go back to gluing with my Fabri-Tac. that down tight This is the kind of tricky thing is to pull that apart and get that in there. Oh gosh, I don't know why it is so difficult, but it seems to fight me. Oh gosh, okay. So then once you do get that on there, then you can pull it down and then go to the other side and it's kind of where you can straighten it out so you don't want to wait around too long. And get your glue on there. And pull that down. And then just kind of go back and forth. Hmm. Okay, so I got that one. And then this one with that sort of heavy canvas fabric. This is probably going to be easier to handle, actually, because it has a little bit of weight to it. that down and then pulling that down okay so there are my four new signatures that I'm gonna work in with the other ones so let's see what that looks like. I think these are just a little bit longer than the, I think these are a little bit longer than the uh, these, but I'm gonna go ahead and let them be that way. Okay, so this one, I'll try it here. And one beige one, put it in between the green and the orange. This red one here and the orange one here. So let's see what that lineup looks like. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty colorful and nice, even. Uh, like they split up and, and look distinctive is what I'm trying to say. And when I mash this together, the way it's going to be when I sew it, it's matching up the thickness of this right here. So I hope that makes sense. So that was my goal. And then when I go into this journal, you'll have journaling pages, <laughs> which is always a good thing if you're making a journal. 
So there's one, two, three, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight journaling pages in between each signature if you want, if you want them. And there's some graph paper there. So I think that solved my problem. And so, okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to stop the video now and I will come back and we'll go on to the next thing. But thanks for watching. Um, I hope you liked the video. And if you did click like, think about subscribing and I'll move on to the next video. Bye-bye.